Hi, this is Paul from paulrugby.com. Today's video is about the x algo, but also how, I've how I combine it with stocks to trade that fifth wave move to give me confidence uh, in that move, so not to adjust the stock too quickly uh, to make it risk-free. So this is Grub. It's a, it's a trade that I'm in. It's a swing trade that I'm in with my inner circle. It's just almost smashed through the fifth wave target for our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite on tradethefifth.com. Now, this is at 260% profit times risk. So risk at $10,000 on this, this is worth $26,000. The main point I want to see, I want to show here is the support and resistance zones again, okay? I keep mentioning this, but they're really, really important. We see the wave three hit this support and resistance zone here. And when we look left, there's further uh, support and resistance zones uh, that really get tested there. The wave four comes back and tests the support and resistance zone. It pulls back into our green zone. There's an 85% probability it's gonna go on and hit that automatic fifth wave target zone. The, stock, the false breakout stochastic is good. There's a false breakout yellow dots on the top denoting strong bullish trend. We pull back against it, it crosses over. The 535 during the wave four doesn't go below the 140. It stays within parameters. So the wave four behave properly. Now, there's an 85% probability that's gonna go on. So reasonably aggressive entry into this, but usually if I have an aggressive entry and I've got a really short term resistance zone here, you can see in gray, um, I'm more likely to um, to really think about making that risk free as it approaches that just in case it pulls back and fails. However, the five star buy came here. The six star buy came here. The momentum is building. So from the x elgo, I was confident to leave my stop below the wave four pivot. There's a lot of parameters that go into printing these five and six star buys and sells on the uh, x spread algo. So that, that gives me confidence that momentum's going. So I can give it room to breathe. It pushed through. We've had a gap up since then through this support and resistance zone. And even on uh, a couple of negative days in the markets uh, on the last couple of days, this thing has been making uh, new fifth wave highs. There's some more to go. There's uh, another support and resistance zone up here. Uh, I've got a trailing stop two days behind now. I'm locking 150% um, profit times risk already with a trailing stop. When we look left, this is my support and resistance zone. That's the next target. I will just keep trailing it now. So again, when I do these videos, it's not just those support and resistance zones on the 60 minute when I'm trading uh, day trading futures. This is the daily time frame on Grub. It's the same thing. I do the same thing every single trade. No matter what I'm trading, these linear support and resistance zones are really, really key. So hopefully that helps a little bit as well for those that have the TradeTheFifth.com Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for that fifth wave move. Uh, shows you how combining with that x algo to give you confidence in that x move and to give it room to breathe and to can carry on with that uh, bullish move in this case.